Excuse me, are you the broad with the bread? Why, yes, I am. What's better than a 556 five, Bryn? How about a 762 by 39 Bryn? Let's go. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of The Broad with the Bryn. If you're new to the channel, I'm The Broad and we have a Bryn. And today, we're, in particular, we're going to be covering the 762 version of the Bryn. This is actually the first time that we've had one in hand and I'm really excited about it. If you're not familiar with the CZ Bryn, we'll put some playlists up for you guys to check out. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into this visually. At first glance, it looks very much like the 556 version of the Bryn. This is the 11 and a half inch version of the 762 by 39. We do have our Midwest Industries stock on here, but the key difference is the magazine. This down. This is not an AK mag. This is not an AR mag. This is a proprietary mag that only works for the 762 by 39 Britain. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this goes in because it does look a little weird. This weapon is clear. There's nothing in this mag. It does not rock and lock. It just goes straight in. Then you're ready for action. So I just wanna be very clear. This gun only takes these mags. At this time, it does not accept AK or AR mags. Now, this is the same as any other CZ Bren. It has a piston system, adjustable gas, uh, has a polymer lower. It's a Southpaw's dream, if I'm quite honest with you, because it's fully ambi. So just to give all the information out there, there is a company that makes a polymer product that allows this to take AK Max. cheap, it's flimsy, it's not for us. There is another company that makes a metal product. That allows it to take AR 762 mags, 762 by 39 mags. Uh, but we haven't had much luck with the magazines themselves. So for now, we like this just as it is stock. If you're new to the channel, you might not know that the CZ Bryn is my second favorite platform. My first being the AK. So this might be my dream gun, being that it's a CZ Bryn and in 762 by 39. Let's go shoot it and find out. So we shot a few hundred rounds and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the 762 by 39 round personally. Again, I'm an AK girl. Um, it ran like a dream. However, we did have one minor hiccup and that is that. We had a round that did not want to sit in the magazine. It was shaking out. It's a new magazine. You know, maybe it's a little finicky, needs to be broken in, but that is the one malfunction that we did have. The gun itself ran like a dream. Now, if you were to ask me, 
Would I prefer the 556 version or if I would prefer the 762? That's a really hard question for me because the 556 version is so soft shooting. Super easy to maneuver, manipulate, runs awesome. No malfunctions whatsoever. But personally, I really love the 762 rounds and I feel that if the zombies come, uh, I want everything between me and that zombie gone. So I know the 762 round is definitely gonna blow shit up. Uh, 556, a little more precise, a little more finesse. I don't always need finesse sometimes. I just wanna punch. So let's go run this suppressed. Okay, so we have about 10 rounds. We're gonna run this suppressed with a traditional can. We are gonna run this in slow-mo so that you guys can see how the gun reacts with a traditional can. So let's do this. So we ran it suppressed and we didn't run any in, into any issues. There is some chatter online about the reliability running the suppressed for long periods of time. We do have a friend and a fellow team member that has some input on that. And essentially you can send your gun in to have the gas block worked on, get some sort of custom work, um, which also helps with the internals not being beat up as much. Additionally, you could run a flow through type suppressor so you don't have to do any adjustments whatsoever. I think we know a company that could help with that. The Hawksworks Ventum 762. So why would you buy this gun? If you're like me and you absolutely love the Bren platform, that's a great reason. If you like to shoot 762, this is super fun to shoot. But I don't think I would make this my things go really wrong gun, uh, simply for the magazine issue. Now I love shooting it and I'm going to keep shooting it and have a lot of fun with that, but it's a, it's a good one for the collection if that's the case. However, the 5.56 Bren 2, I would take that on a really bad day. If I want 7.62, I have a whole closet full of AKs for that. So we hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.